Hi, this is Matt Meese, and I am the owner and operator of RussianBrilliance.net. We create custom design wedding anniversary and special occasion fine jewelry set in solid gold and platinum and set with the world's finest simulated diamonds, the Russian Brilliance Simulated Diamond. I want to talk today just briefly uh, about a very important distinction that I think a lot of people are confused about. And that's the difference between a synthetic diamond and a simulated diamond. And in today's market, where there are lots of simulated diamond products to choose from, and there are a variety of synthetic diamonds on the market now, I think it's important to really understand the distinctions between the two. A synthetic material is chemically and physically exactly the same as the natural material. So, for example, a synthetic chemical in a drug, for example, is in every way exactly the same as the naturally occurring material in nature. So a synthetic diamond is chemically and physically exactly the same as a natural diamond that came out of the ground. Uh, this distinction being, as one company likes to say, it was grown above ground as opposed to in the ground. A simulated material is not exactly the same chemically and physically as the natural material. It simulates or imitates the physical appearance of that material, but it's not chemically and physically the same thing. It's a different material pretending, you might say, to be the real thing. Uh, when it comes to synthetic diamonds, there are a few major players in that industry. The one that I like the most is a company called Gemesis. Uh, they started 10 years ago or more creating uh, mostly yellow and golden colored synthetic diamonds. Uh, and in the last couple of years, they've perfected the color colorless excuse me, uh, synthetic diamond. And you can go to Gemesis.com and see a wide variety of colorless synthetic diamonds, which are physically and chemically exactly the same as the natural material. Now, you'll find that you're a little bit limited in the uh, sizes because the process can only go up to about a carat and a half. Most of what you'll see in the synthetic diamond world is under a carat and a half in size, just strictly limited by the process. And the pricing is not that much different from a natural diamond. You're still going to pay a few thousand dollars minimum for a one carat stone. On the other hand, there are a huge array of simulated diamond companies. We're one of the better known, I'm happy to say. Um, and a simulated diamond product, is, as I said, is not the same thing. It's another material that is uh, attempting to, as much as possible, look like it. And simulated diamonds are also, one way to tell that you're looking at a simulated and not a synthetic diamond, is the cost is much, much less. Whereas you're going to pay a few thousand dollars for a, a decent quality synthetic diamond, all of the simulated diamonds that are on the market from the very cheap inexpensive stuff uh, to the better quality material like Russian Brilliance and a handful of others that you'll find uh, are in the few hundred dollar a carat range. So if you're on a site or you're talking to someone about a synthetic diamond and they tell you it's only a few hundred dollars, you know that they're either, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're intentionally misleading you because if it's a few hundred dollars per carat, it's a simulated diamond. Uh, if, they're, if you're really looking at a synthetic diamond, it's going to be a few thousand dollars per carat. Um, this is a very brief explanation. There's a lot more to say about this, and I'm sure I'll be back sometime in the future to go into it in more detail. But I just thought it was important to let you know that there are some major distinctions between a synthetic material and a simulated material. And I hope uh, this brief explanation has been of help. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions at all. That'd be uh, RussianBrilliance.net, uh, or you can email me directly at matt at RussianBrilliance.net, and we look forward to the opportunity to assist you. Thank you very much.